Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Again, my name is Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. And today we're gonna finally do the video that I mentioned I would take care of in the past. So I had uh, explained that once I hit 100 subs, I was going to purchase the strap and double deployment buckle for the Cartier Santos homage. You can see that full review up here of this watch. And I just wanted to uh, hold up my end of the deal. <laughs> and so I have the strap here, but before we get started on that, let's do a quick wristwatch check for my guys out there. Today I'm rocking the Guan Xin. This is a new homage that I purchased. And this is the uh, Long Jeans Master Chrono, as you can see here. Done really nice. Um, I was pretty pleased once I got this watch at how, how good of a job they've done with it. Uh, but we will do a full review on this another time. But for now, let's get back into it. Okay, so on the Cartier Santos homage, you remember in the original video, it was just on a regular strap with pins. And this is the double deployment buckle that I purchased. Um, it works, can only go one way, snaps into place. And then we have two uh, push buttons here to release it. So as I've seen with a lot of butterfly clasps, the same risk applies to this. If you have it on, in fact, let me just go ahead and put this on so you can see what I'm talking about. So if we put this on, it fits nicely, but if you move your hand and it pinches these two buttons, it's gonna come undone. It doesn't happen often, but it has happened. So I don't wanna say that that's not a possibility. It definitely is. I really like the buckle, like they, you know, it's it doesn't say Cartier on it, of course, cause that's not a real one. Um, but the finishing on it is done really nice. Like all of these stainless steel pieces that I've come across, it was very rough, just kind of, you know, no hand polishing or finishing that was done. So of course I get my uh, little handy dandy polishing cloths and smoothed all of this out. Now everything, all the edges feel very nice, looks great. And this is 316L stainless steel. So you can see the way that the clasp works is there's the little hooks here and then they just lock into place. Very nice. Now, there was two versions, like there was another version of this strap and buckle combo, and I should have gotten that one because this one here was just a hair too wide, like a millimeter. I think this is the 24 and a half. I should have gotten the 23, and it probably would have fit perfect because if you notice on the, let me zoom in here for you. On the Cartier Santos 100 XL Chrono, these lugs come down a little bit more. So there's that kind of space you can see where they should have gone all the way out to here. And then the class or the um, strap would have started. So these are just a little bit short on this particular version. And so what I did is I just kind of shaved these down. I know it's real ghetto, but um, I could have returned it, I guess, and ordered another one. But this is like such a cheap watch. I really didn't, didn't mind. Um, so I got it put in there and there's, there's no screws, obviously on the real Cartier, there'd be little screws that where it would go through all the way. Um, but my assumption was right. The spring bar, the holes on this lined up the same way they would on the real one. So it actually worked out pretty nice. And what I like is when you put the strap on, there's like this little bit of a gap, which at first I was like, is it supposed to be like that? But it's nice and tight and then it doesn't really move, um, but it looks great. And you can't really see that gap only at like certain angles, but I like it. I think it looks awesome. I think it really changes the look of the watch itself. So we went from having this kind of really cheap, simple buckle strap going to this really nice upgraded strap changes the whole look of this watch. And I've, I've worn this quite a bit already, uh, but one thing I did want to do while we're here in this video is I have my time graph here. So let's just go ahead and test her out. I mean, while we're here, right? Might as well. Yeah, so I've been letting it run for a little bit and it's kind of jumping around. You can see here we had 20, 19, 19, 34. It's gone as low as um, 17 and it's gone as high as, or I'm sorry, it went as low as 12 and then um, it went as high as like 41. <laughs> so this movement is just jumping all over the place. So it's really hard to say what it actually is going to be doing throughout the day. But I think it's safe to assume probably, yeah, within 30 seconds, you know, is probably a good average. Cause as you can see, we got 35, 35, 10. What's this gonna be, nine. So 
probably, yeah, in between there, 20 seconds, 25 seconds a day is probably what this watch is actually doing over time, which isn't bad. I mean, for an $18 watch or $20, you know, automatic, I think that's plenty acceptable. Okay, so now let's talk about the cons of this strap. So this strap is made by a company called eWatch Parts, and I did get this through Amazon through them. It wasn't Prime, but they did ship it pretty quick and it's made for the actual Cartier Santo. So they're like non OEM parts or whatever um, for watches and they do a lot of luxury brands. And so I figured, hey, it's worth a shot. Let me try it out. It was a little pricey for the buckle because you can buy them separate. You can get just the straps or you can get just the buckle. And I did the combo and it came out to about 70 bucks. So I invested $70 on these parts into a little cheap $27 case. But I do think overall it looks really good um, I love the feel of it. I really love that you can change the length of the straps on each side. Perfect. So as far as getting a custom fit for you, I mean, I haven't really experienced that with any other watches. So this is really nice. I like the system, the double deployment, everything's really good about it. Um, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think that this looks better? Would you have just stuck with the regular strap? Is it too expensive? You know, would you spend that money on, on this as well for the same look? Um, I'm just curious to see what you think. As always though, thanks for checking out my channel. If you haven't yet, please subscribe down below. That really helps me out. Like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I will look forward to seeing you guys on Monday with the next watch video. It will be a full review. Not sure which one yet, but I hope to see you there. All right, take care.